start this afternoon as an excessive heat warning is in effect for parts of our region. And our Megan Healy is standing by tracking the latest and how hot it's going to get this weekend. But first, let's go to our Tony Shin, who is live in Poway with a look at the conditions there as well as the warning from firefighters. Tony. Yeah, Maria and Andrew, let me tell you, it's four o'clock right now, right? It should be cooling off, but I tell you what, I am still feeling the heat and so is everyone else out here, but people are still heading out here to Lake Poway. Take a look behind me. You can see they're hiking. They are enjoying this beautiful lake out there on boats. Now, firefighters say during this heat wave, have a great time outdoors. Just don't overdo it. With a temperature nearing 90 degrees in Poway, it's hard to believe anyone could play basketball in the middle of the day in heat like this. It doesn't matter how hot it is. We just like run it for a few, you know, about an hour or so, and then we go back to work. Brian Olo says they are well aware of heat exhaustion, so they make sure to take breaks in the shade and stay hydrated. Waters, things like that, other snacks, food, and um, yeah, we're prepared for it. Preparation is key. Just a few weeks ago, a 50-year-old woman died while hiking in excessive heat on a Black Mountain trail. Firefighters say, Everyone must know the signs of heat exhaustion so it doesn't lead to heat stroke, which can be deadly. Nausea, uh, dizziness, or even a severe headache. Uh, that's when you want to take a break. Cal Fire Captain Brian Pasqua says toddlers and the elderly have a harder time handling high heat. They just don't regulate the heat as well as we do. So double check on them, keep checking on them, make sure they're hydrated, make sure they're staying cool, they're in the shade, they're not overheating as well. The scorching heat is also creating dangerous fire conditions, making it a busy summer for firefighters who are dealing with thick brush, much of it overgrown from the recent wet winter. It's nice to get all that rain this winter and, and, and see everything green and lush, but that has since dried out and it's ready to burn, so we gotta be very careful because it's all fuel for wildfire. So whether you are going out for a hike, I forgot my water, which was a bad move on my part, <laughs> or playing a sport, make sure to bring plenty of water. Take breaks when you can too. Don't go all the way through. We don't play all the way through, maybe 10 minutes at a time. Now, fire officials also say if you are a cigarette smoker and you are driving, whatever you do, please do not flick your cigarette butts out the window. You could easily start a wildfire. Reporting live in Poway, I'm Tony Shin, Fox 5 News. Good reminder. All right, Tony, thank you.